I asked. I felt right. <laughs> I did too. Please. There's a ribbon. Cadet Micah Victor, front and center report to Major Messina. Is your father here? No, ma'am. Is your mother here? No, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Cadet Victor is being presented the Jimmy Doolittle Achievement Award. Completed at or achievement six on 13 August 2024 with a promotion to Chief Senior Master Sergeant or Cadet Senior Master Sergeant, my apologies. Jimmy James Harold Jimmy Doolittle was a pioneer pilot, aeronautical engineer, combat leader, and military strategist whose career stretched from World War I to the height of the Cold War. He is most famous for leading a daring bombing raid over Tokyo in 1942, the first attack. American attack on the Japanese mainland. Do little 16 planes drop their bombs and then lacking fuel to return to the carrier flew on to crash land in China and the Soviet Union. In the twilight of his life, still a celebrated American hero, President Reagan promoted him to four star general, the company's promotion to the grade of cadet senior master sergeant. Congratulations. Uh, anyone else What's wish to step up at then? Ken Lasada report to Major Singer from the Senate. Jet Lasada is receiving the Mary Fike Achievement Award which was as Achievement 3, completed on 27 August 24, with promotion to Cadet Senior Airman. The border bands of orange and blue represent the colors of the United States Army Air Corps, where Mary Fike pioneered aircraft mechanics, engineering, and flight training. The center red band recalls the epaulets worn by Civil Air Patrol members during World War II and Mary Fikes lifelong volunteer service as a member of the United States Air Force Auxiliary. No colors intervene between the orange, blue, and red as aviation itself is unbounded. The Mary Fike Achievement Award is awarded for successfully completing the requirements of Achievement 3 and promotion to the grade of Cadet Senior Airman. And... Mom. Well, okay. Yes.
Cadet Tobias Rue, front and center, report to Major Messina. Cadet Rue is being presented with the John F. Curry Achievement Award, which is the first achievement in the cadet program. Uh, this is for successful completion of those requirements on 27th day of August 2024. Anybody present that's going to present? Any? Okay, Cadet Vernon is also receiving the John F. Curry achievement for the completion of the requirements for the first achievement of the Civil Air Patrol Cadet Program as of 13 August 2024. <laughs> Cadet Wynn 
and Cadet Smith is recorded. Not that Smith. Shayla Smith. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This is a certificate of first flight for Airman Shayla Smith. This is also a certificate of first flight for uh, win. <laughs> Certainly. You need help? Lieutenant Randall Weiss, front and center. Where's he at? There's he. He's coming through. Lieutenant Weiss is receiving a National Commander's Commendation Award for Outstanding Duty Performance during the period of 22 September that, uh, 2022 to November or 9 October 2022 was uh, actually awarded on the 14th of November 2023. These were given to command back at the wing conference a few months ago and we just received them but anyway it's well deserved uh, for all the uh, activities that he participated in during the hurricanes last year during mission response anyway so we'll have to figure out how to do this right pictures <laughs> <laughs> okay. Captain Charles Vaughn, front and center. Captain Vaughn is also being presented with the National Commander's Commendation Award for Outstanding Duty Performance presented to him during as for activities during the period 22 September 2022 to 9 October 2022, also awarded on the 14th of November 2023. And is that, is that Felca's signature yes. on these? That's uh, issued by General Felca, the national commander. And that was also for hurricane response. Yeah, these are specifically for Ian. Michael Miner, front and center, he can report to Major Messina. Okay. Cadet Miner is actually being presented or actually it's not being presented, we will give him the uh, ribbon at a uh, later date. But he is receiving the red service ribbon, which means he's had 24 months of continuous service in the Civil Air Patrol as a member. And that's it. Thank you very much. Cadet Samuel Miner, front and center, report to Major Messina. 
Governor Weimer. Yes. To Weimer. I got major. Could be. And Cadet Samuel Miner is our Cadet Airman First Class Samuel Miner is also being uh, awarded the Red Service Ribbon, which we will give to him at a later day, for 24 months of continuous service in the Civil Air Patrol. Senior Paul D. Ryder, front and center. I'm not going to do that when you uh, do that. Is he I, actually, uh, I think I can do it. Okay. <coughs> Where's he at? Paul Ryder? He was here? What? Yes. Maybe he abscond? Maybe he's indisposed. Is there anybody in the head? Okay, do the other one first. Maybe. All right. How about senior member William Weaver? Front and center. Okay. Uh, senior member Weaver has successfully completed the level one training program for the Civil Air Patrol Professional Development Program, and that was effective. Second of October, or second of August this year, and it is also signed by the national commander and by uh, Colonel Brindling, our squadron commander, and he received an award with that and his fancy certificate. Very good. Yeah. Senior member Sanchez, front and center. Right. Okay. Senior member Sanchez is being promoted to the rank of second lieutenant, and uh, I guess I should actually have him face me. He's doing the oath. Okay. Would you face me, please? Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, your full name? I, Dave Sanchez. Having been promoted to the grade of? Having been promoted to the grade of? Second Lieutenant in Civil Air Patrol. Second Lieutenant in Civil Air Patrol. Do solemnly swear do or affirm. Swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support and comply with the Constitution. That I will support and comply with the Constitution. Bylaws and regulations. Bylaws and regulations. Of the Civil Air Patrol. Of the Civil Air Patrol that I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely without any any metal, <laughs> any any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well and faithfully discharge all duties. And faithfully discharge all duties and responsibilities as well as obey and responsibilities as well as obey the orders of the officers appointed over me the officers appointed over me according to regulations according to regulations congratulations anybody like to step up What else do we have? He didn't come back? Okay. Ryder? No? Okay. I'm going to call off some uh, names. These, uh, before I do that, let me find the letter here. This one? Yeah, that's the one I was. Were you hiding it from me? Yeah, in plain sight. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
I'm not going to ask for reporting. I'd just like you to step forward, set your certificate, and then you can return to your place. The American Council of the Blinded Veterans and Association of America has provided a letter of thanks to the Civil Air Patrol dated July 29, 2024. It says, thanks for going everywhere as needed at the Jacksonville, Florida airport to make to be sure the blind and visually impaired had a great experience upon arrival and departure. You made many blind happy. Thanks for being the great volunteer. You made a difference. The individuals that you helped at the airport we're so excited to have your help. Airports can be a challenge as well as we travel. Your help made the American Council of the Blind and Blinded Veterans arrival and departure a great experience. Hope you had a great experience with our two blind groups. Thanks again for being there when we needed you. Enclosed is a special certificate for the time you volunteer and community service hours all knew that you cared and that made the blind and visually impaired days great or day great as they arrived and departed home sincerely march green beeman uh american council for the blind and blinded veterans of america national volunteer accessibility security and airport volunteer okay just so you'll know on the 11th or 12th 11th and third 11th and 12th of july these folks came out to volunteer their time to help these handicapped folks to their departing <coughs> bodies. They met them at the uh, okay. arrival area. The gate. The gate. Well, they didn't meet them at the gate. They right. met them at the front arrival area. Right. Where their ground transportation dropped them off and helped escort them. Several of them were in wheelchairs. Some of them had canes. A few of them had uh, service animals and stuff like this. But these cadets did a phenomenal job. They worked in teams of at least two, which is required. They have to have two working together as a wingman. And they uh, got a lot of compliments. We had no issues. Everybody got through it. It, was, it got a little tough at times because they started building up on us because they just arrived randomly whenever they felt like it. And we did the best we could to get them to their flights on time. Huh? Seven at one time. Okay. Uh, anyway, yes, we did have some sort of large groups come at one time, but we had no complaints, and everybody seemed to make it to their flights. I'm going to call you up individually. You do not have to report. Just accept your certificate. Uh, Cadet First Lieutenant Michael Posen. Thank you. Cadet First Lieutenant Duncan Halderman. Present? Not present. Okay, not present. If I, if I call out a name and they're not here, let me know. Uh, Cadet Technical Sergeant Warren Smith. <laughs> Cadet Airman Gage Laforty. Not present. Cadet Airman First Class Samuel Miner. Airman First Class Michael Miner. <laughs> Airman Ken Lozada. <laughs> Airman Finley Lowe. Cadet Airman First Class Luciano Decay. Not here. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure in a minute. I have more separate. Yeah. Cadet Senior Member. Is she gone? She uh, was can, here. She yeah, was I know. Here. I'm, I'm setting it aside for oh, a okay. reason. Okay. Cadet Senior Master Sergeant Jacob Call. Now, okay. <laughs> these, were, these were done before promotion, so. Thank you. Cadet Airman <laughs> Caden Miller. No. Okay. Cadet Airman Corey Morgan. No. Cadet Airman Nigel Morrison. Okay. Cadet Airman Azraya Azraya Salawe Salawi Salawi. I apologize. I, one day I'll get it right. 
Very good. Thank you. And his brother Triumph, if he would like to step forward. Do you think after all this time I could do this right, huh? Thank you very much. Okay, we've got a couple more. Senior member Alexis Mills. I say the senior member, senior members to last. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, senior member, uh, excuse me, first lieutenant Randall Weiss. He's here. here. Oh, he's in the back again, and I don't think Robert's here. Thank you. And last, but only with us virtually, is senior member Holly Harrington. Thank you, Holly. Thank you.